I wasn't originally planning on creating this video, but the new information released about Nikocado and the person I truly believe he is was just too great to ignore. Just to give you a recap of my previous video, Nikocado Avocado, mukbang YouTuber who eats in front of his camera, recently got exposed by other mukbang YouTuber Stephanie Su, who alleged he manipulated her and threatened to destroy her under numerous occasions, made her feel uncomfortable in her own home, and then shaded her behind her back. Stephanie released an hour-long video detailing the horrors of what it was like to have Nikocado constantly up her business, harassing her about everything, and try to squeeze any bit of information he can about another mukbang YouTuber who was known as Veronica Wang. This is kind of when I first felt really uncomfortable because Nick said it very assertively, we're going to talk about Veronica and we're going to spill all the tea. And I was kind of confused because I was like, oh, whoa, what? <laughs> and so I was immediately like, no. No? And then he he went, but why did you tell me yesterday that you wanted to then? Veronica Wing isn't actually a part of the drama between Stephanie and Nick, but she plays a crucial role in it because this whole drama occurred due to Nick Akato fiending for a furthered expose video on Veronica Wang. Stephanie, of course, wasn't having this and made it clear to Nick Akato on numerous occasions she had no intentions of trying to expose Veronica. <laughs> Now I admit, I left a lot out in my original video because truthfully, I didn't think Nikocado would even respond because how could you refute any of the points Stephanie mentioned about him when they were clear as day seen by the public? After Stephanie's video, Nikocado immediately took to Instagram to post that this was a planned hit on him. It's to show that this is 100% fabricated and a total hit job. Um, and I can prove it to you, so don't, don't worry, don't freak out. This is the biggest blow I've ever had to me, but um, yeah, I do have a response. Just wait for it. Um, don't believe everything you see or hear, because um, there's always two sides to a story. And you should know that by now. The fact he actually convinced himself this was true in his own messed up head is beyond me. A couple days roll along and I'm refreshing Nikocado's channel. He's posting regular mukbangs on his other channel and throwing a little shade at Stephanie with each post. Now all these other people that you enjoy on YouTube, you enjoy them. You don't know what they're going through. They have no idea, because they don't say. A lot of them are fake. There's another eating channel. I mean, I'm sorry. I should be shading people up right now. That's really not appropriate. But I know when people are fake, fakey, fakey, and she's the fakest thing I've ever seen. Fake. AF. But still, clear as day, ignoring the situation. And then he posts a very interesting video which showed Nikocado's true character, him trying to seem like the victim in all of this. You know, Nikocado, you never fail to impress me how one human can have the audacity to try to constantly expose others but always play out to be like the victim in every situation is beyond me. The video he posted was very uncomfortable and he basically said he was done with YouTube. Well, that was a lie because he posted a video literally the next day stuffing his face with food just as he normally would so at this point i basically gave up on the drama can you see me oh my god i can't even see myself I see stars. Yeah. There was no point for me to pursue it. All leads were cold. Plus, I knew from the start that Nikocado was a scumbag anyways, so it would basically be rinse and repeat of what hundreds of drama channels already posted. And you know me. Here at Scuff Puppy, we try to be different in our own weird way. But then... He did it. He dropped the big cojona on us, and boy did it leave me speechless. It was an hour and 30 minutes long, and I couldn't get through the entire video without the help of my friend Casey in deciphering the mess Nikocado make. But I'll admit one thing, and I'll admit it in shame too. Nikocado managed to manipulate me into believing his side for a second, just a brief second. Now to save you the time from actually watching the video for yourself, I'll give you a brief rundown about it. Nikocado alleges Stephanie edited her video in a, in a very discreet manner to allure to the fact that she's trying to paint him out to be some sort of rapist predator. And then there's another clip, a surveillance footage clip of an, at that time, unidentified man, unidentified over top of you, touching you, as you scream and cry out. And then there's another clip of you saying to the camera, me too. 
Now, I personally know these two, and I saw all of Stephanie's video, and I didn't view it that way, but for a second, I thought Nick Akato could be right. If a new individual who had no clue who these two were watched this video, it's very understandable how he could have thought that. The other point where he got me was how he said Stephanie was aware he was taking photos of his house, but he never made it clear that he lied about this whole thing. To insinuate that I was taking photos while you were in the bathroom and you had no idea as to why that was the case. That is deliberate manipulation in order to sell a story. And out of the few photos I took, they're only of the same room. You do something and it makes people uncomfortable, but they can't voice their concerns because they would seem like the crazy ones. And then if they do voice your concerns, you say something like, it was just innocent admiring of her home. I was admiring her furniture. And this is innocent stuff. It's not like I walked into her house like this. Ah! He never made it clear that he lied to her about what he was taking photos of. And he took a video of her husband without his consent in the privacy of his own home. I mean, it's just a little strange, you know, when when uh, he was showing, he said, hey, let me show you what food we're eating. He switched the camera on his phone, but instead of pointing the camera down onto the kitchen counter, it was where the food is, <laughs> but it was to my face for a good three seconds. So my reaction was. Okay, now this is awkward. Of course, Nick Akato omits all this information from his video and goes on to blab about absolutely nothing for the rest of the video, just insulting Stephanie and rather actually arguing her point, he just begs the claim the entire time, which if you don't know, it's a type of argument fallacy, which is making the argument but not having any proof to back it up. His only main point of evidence against Stephanie was a few text messages that she said she was interested in documenting the whole situation with, with Veronica Wang and the aftermath, how it affected her and the parties involved. Now any normal human sees there's nothing wrong with that, but since old Nick McAvocado isn't the main focus of the idea, he immediately rejects it and rips the idea completely. The rest of his video is pure nonsense. Him tearing up saying he's not a predator nor a manipulator, but using emotions as a driving factor to reason with the audience rather than actual claims to prove his innocence. But I admit, these tactics fooled even I, the great detective scuffed pup. Even after watching his video, I still was I wasn't convinced to make a video of my own on the entire drama, just because I felt it was stupid. After all, mukbang is all about eating in front of the camera and interacting with your audience. At the end of the day, making good videos is all that matters, but Stephanie, I want to thank you, because if you hadn't released your big Uno reverse card video last night, I probably would have understood Nick Akato, and that makes me gag just thinking about it. But you coming out with pure concrete receipts against it shifted the entire tide of who I believed was true. I watched the entire 50 minute video. Stephanie released and made sure not to skip even a second so I would have my information correct. And of course, the links to all the videos mentioned are in the bio for you, the viewer, to see for yourself. But Stephanie exposes all the negative things Nikocado said against her and made him look like a complete buffoon. The lies he told, down to his entire actions, the whole time. Nikocado came in there looking to expose Stephanie Sue and Veronica Wang in any way he could, and of course that would make him seem like the good guy through it all. Even Zach Choi, the third member that was a part of their now deleted mukbang, told Nick Akato it was not a good idea to mention things that visibly made Stephanie uncomfortable, but he ignored all of this and decided it would be best if he went through with his originally intended idea. Well, now look what it costs you, Nick. Not only have you turned your viewers against you, but you've created a dark cloud that will follow you and your YouTube career. You've shown you'll still be difficult to trust, and it's a surprise your husband Orland is even still with you to this day after you've basically made your life into a Kardashian show for the world to see and laugh at online. I highly recommend you give Stephanie's video a watch because she exposes something huge about Nick Akato. Nick Akato allegedly had a meet up with an individual in New York where he brought him food, had a hotel room, and basically tried to sucker his way into getting his dick sucked by this boy. Nick Akato didn't get what he wanted and made multiple videos bashing the boy and basically held a gun to his head at which any given moment Nick Akato could have blew and ended the boy's entire livelihood. This boy reached out to Stephanie after seeing her video and expressed to her how Nick Akato manipulated him and turned his back on him all because he didn't have intercourse as easily as he hoped. So I met this guy on an app called Grindr. It's what guys use all the time to like find hookups. It's a hookup app. It's not a let me film a feeding show with Nick Akato app. It's a hookup app. This guy was coming on to me like, oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so... Because I'm here. I'm alone. I'm in New York City. 
I'm not looking to cheat. I would never want to cheat. I just want to cuddle, maybe kiss, maybe like a little quickie over here, but no like actual penetration, no like actual intercourse, just a little, you know. It comes to no surprise that Nikocado behaves this way in person. Like I said in my first video, I'm against cancel culture in the most extremist ways, but Nikocado demonstrates nothing but disrespect to fellow creators on the platform and uses his audience as a threatening factor to expose others. Not to mention he also thinks his audience is dumb as well. I genuinely hope you change, Nick. Chances are you will never see my video on you, but this is the impact the creator of your magnitude has. You have a ton of eyes on you, watching you every day, your every move, ready to critique you when you do things wrong. You have to behave more responsibly and use your influence for good. I don't know how you could possibly shift the tide of the situation in your favor, but I feel you did a good job on exposing yourself as a narcissistic, manipulative, and shady individual. And it's funny you use the word self-serving a lot, but you, my friend, are the most self-serving individual there is. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if you're rejoicing at the fact so many people are saying your name at the moment. But of course, I never want to make a video critiquing another's life without offering my advice in the whole thing. All you have to do, Nikocado, is simple. Apologize, step away for a little bit, take time to work on yourself, and develop yourself into someone better. Life isn't all about clicks and views. All these clicks and views are temporary and go away. But you as a person and the videos you make online, the lasting impression you have on people will stay forever. But it's not too late to change and show the world you can be a better person. We're all human and changing constantly. The ball is in your court, Nick. Which way will you throw it? When I look at myself, I sometimes don't recognize myself. Subscribe to Scuff Puppies.